Welcome to Electron Line. We should also be able to recognize the current in a circuit like this. In the previous video, we determined that the output voltage was a minus 8 volts based on the 2 volt input right here. But what is the current flowing through the circuit right here towards the output terminal? Well, the way we can do that is using Ohm's law. We can say that I is equal to V over R. Now in this case, the voltage is going to be the voltage difference between the output terminal here and the voltage on the inverting input. Now, the voltage on the inverting input here should be zero volts because on an ideal operational amplifier, there's no voltage difference between the inverting and the non-inverting input, and the non-inverting input is connected to ground, which means that V sub I should equal zero. And therefore, the voltage difference between V sub I and V sub O can be written as follows. We can say that the voltage there would be the voltage at V sub I minus the voltage at the output. And we divide that by the resistance between those two, which is the feedback resistor, which is R sub F. So in this case, that is going to be 0 minus minus 8 volts divided by the feedback resistor, which is 4 kilo ohms, which is equal to 8 volts divided by 4 kilo ohms, which is equal to 2 milliamps. And notice that the arrow direction is correct. The current is indeed flowing from here to there because there's a lower potential here compared to the zero potential at V sub I. And that's how we find the current in the circuit, just like we found the voltage in the previous video. That's how it's done.